Greetings everyone. So today I'm going to show you a routine that you can set up to have all your lights come on and even make an announcement in case you hear a little weird noise going inside your house, especially if you live in a multi-level house and you hear strange noises downstairs. Instead of you running down there and run into something that you might not want to run into, how about you let your Amazon voice assistant turn on all your smart lights to whatever color you like and make announcement to kind of like scare that person away. Okay, so let's dive right into the routine. So you want to click on routines and then you want to click the plus sign. We're going to name this routine trouble next. And then we're going to say when this happened, we're going to use voice. And then we're going to use the same word just to make it quick and easy and simple to do. So now the routine is named trouble and then the word to trigger it is called trouble. So now we're going to add all the actions to make things happen. So first thing we want to do is go down to our smart devices. So we go to smart home and we go lights. Now this is going to work more effectively if you have a lot of smart lights, smart lights outside, smart lights downstairs, kitchen, bedroom, wherever. The more, the better. But we can still run that routine even if you have a few lights. So we're going to do all lights and then we're going to click next. We want them to power on. Make sure it says on. And then we want to set the brightness. We want the brightness to be 100%. Don't click the ramp up because it's going to slowly go from dim all the way up to bright. We want them to come on at full blast, full brightness. Now you can set a color if you want to. If you go into the color setting, you can select a particular color that you would like them to be. You can choose red, whatever. But I would go with daylight white. That's the brightest your lights can get as far as colors. And then click save. You want to do next. And now all your lights are going to come on when you said the word trouble. Now I have a couple of lights that control through the Wiz app. And I want to choose those same lights also. I have two. I have a left one and a right one. So I'm going to choose those and add those to the list. I'm going to set them to turn on brightness, hundred percent daylight white and make sure they're on the list. Once I add them to the list, then all the light setup is complete. If you don't have U lights, that's fine. Just choose the one that's on your list. So now I have all the lights that's controlled to the U hub and the studio lights that's controlled to the Wiz app. If you have any additional bulbs, whether they're single bulbs or in a group, just choose them and add them to the list because you want all the lights to come on, like I said. So now we can do some additional things. We can make some noise because we want to scare whoever it is away if it's somebody. Hopefully it's not. So we just want to make some noise to add to these lights coming on. So we're going to click plus. Now you can go all the way down to sound and you can choose an animal sound. And you can choose rooster, dog. So we're going to do a dog bark. Okay, so one side note. If you set up the bark sound, it has to come through one of your speakers. It's not going to work through the Echo Shows because I've tried it and I don't hear any barking sound coming out of the Echo Show. So make sure you have smart speakers, the regular speakers in your setup. And then we want to add another one. So this time, we want her to make an announcement. So we're going to go all the way down to messaging. And then we want to click send an announcement. So this is where we're going to type in whatever we want her to say. Now, since I already got something pre-typed, I'm just going to paste it there. And that's what I want her to say. Whoever you are, the police are on the way. Then I'm going to click next. I'm going to choose a device, which is going to be all devices, or I can choose a particular one, but I'm going to say all. I'm going to say next and then next again. So now when I say the word trouble, She's going to turn on all the lights. She's going to play a bark sound and then she's going to make an announcement. But I want the announcement to come twice or maybe three times or whatever. So I'm going to add the announcement one more time. Now, before she makes that second announcement, I want her to pause for a second or a few seconds, I should say. So I'm going to go all the way down to I see wait. I'm going to choose wait and then I'm going to change this minute to zero. And then the wait time, the lowest time I can choose is five seconds. So I'm going to choose that five seconds. Then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to add the announcement one more time. So I'm going to go all the way down to messaging, choose send notification. 
I'm going to put the same message in that I had early in the first announcement. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to click all devices. Yes, I want all devices. Click next again and then click next again. So now I have a very interesting situation going on here to cause some confusion if I hear some type of trouble sound, which means that when I say the word trouble, all the lights are going to come on. You can play the barking sound. You can even do it a couple of times if you want to. I have the play bark one time and then she's going to make an announcement. She's going to wait five seconds and say the announcement one more time. Now I can choose to do it from a particular device. Now normally when you hear kind of strange noise is usually when you're in your bed at night. So let's choose the bedroom echo show. There it is. And now that routine is ready to go. So now if I should say trouble, she's going to turn on all the lights, play the barking sound, make the announcement twice and scare off anything, if any, and hopefully it's nothing. What's in your house? and bumping around in the night. Okay, so let's make another routine that's gonna turn off all the lights if everything is okay. So let's go to routines. Now the name of this routine is gonna be called All Clear. Then we're gonna choose when this happened and then we're gonna choose Say. So the phrase to say is gonna be All Clear. Now we wanna add some actions because we want all the lights to turn off. So let's do all the hue lights first or whatever lights you have in your setup. So I'm gonna choose All Lights, and then I'm gonna say power off. Now that's gonna turn off all the U lights, but remember I said I have some other lights in my setup controlled through the Wiz app. So I'm gonna go back in and find those lights, which is under a group called Studio. Once I find those lights, I'm gonna add them to the list and do the same thing as the U lights, make sure they power off. Once everything is all set, then I'm just gonna hit the save button. And now when everything is good, I'm just gonna say all clear, which is gonna turn off all the lights. So this routine is gonna turn off all your lights for you so you don't have to go back over and try to turn them off individually. Trouble. Whoever you are, the police are on the way. Whoever you are, the police are on the way. All clear. Okay. So I came up with this routine because, you know, sometimes I watch TV and I see whoever it is at home at night and they might be upstairs in the bedroom. They hear strange noises and, you know, they walk downstairs, they don't even turn on any lights, and they happen to run into a weird stranger. So that's what inspired me to make this routine. It was just a fun experiment, but you can use it in your day-to-day -day life, especially if you want to have that level of just trying to scare whoever it is away by turning on the lights and making all these strange noises because it probably gonna confuse them and they probably wanna hit the road and don't wanna have any confrontation. All right, so if you like this routine, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will get back to you and answer any questions you have about setting up this routine or any other routine. If you have any ideas of any routines that you would like for me to do, just go ahead and drop it in the comment and I will show you how to put those routines together because I'm pretty good at putting routines together. I've been doing this for quite some time and I have a whole list of routines that I set up for my regular smart home setup. All right, so thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.